I thought this was cranberry, but it's not. It's cherry aid. What a nice surprise. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to my channel. So today, this video is going to be a different one. Why well, I say a different one, it's basically a mix of a life update, a Q&A, and an assumptions video. I'm not going to lie, people did not hold back today. So I answered a lot of uncomfortable questions. So if you want to see me get hot under the collar, then just keep on watching. What do we think of the new camera? I haven't got an external mic, so hopefully you'll be able to hear me. I haven't had any problems on my other vlog, so we should be fine. Okay, so as I kind of said in the intro, this is gonna be kind of like a catch up, kind of like get ready with me situation. So I've got questions that I asked over on Instagram whilst filling you in with a lot of stuff because quite a lot has changed since my last video. Pretty sure I said that in my last one when I went off for a bit. But yeah, I'm trying to get back into the routine of filming. So I'm gonna crack on with everything. <clears throat> with this being a get ready with me, I'm not gonna talk about the products that I use, but if you wanna know where anything's from or anything like that, then let me know and I'll be sure to answer you in the comments. Oh my God, I uh, haven't spoke whilst doing my makeup in such a long time. So yeah, uh, what has happened since my last video. So my last video was a challenge video that I done with my brother, which was so much fun. I really got into the routine of vlogging in front of people, which was so much. I'm gonna have to kick my slippers off because these lights are literally like the sun. I am so hot underneath these lights, but because my window is there, it's so loud because we live on our main road, which is the most annoying thing in the world. But you win some and you lose some. It's a lovely flat. We'll just have to put up with the traffic for the time being. Yeah, so not much has changed on the COVID front. Don't really want to keep going on about it because it is unfortunately our new norm now. Uh, I was a lot more worried to begin with. As I mentioned in my vlogs before, like I was quite worried about it all. Whereas now it's just a bit of an inconvenience to be honest. I don't know if that's going to rattle a few feathers or not, but... It is what it is, it's become the normal now. So we've just got to learn to live with it now, I think. But anyway, moving on to the more exciting, <laughs> moving on to the more exciting things. So I have a new boyfriend, which is so much fun. I literally adore the bones of him. Like he is, oh, I just literally love him so much. Um, cringe, Ooh, did I ever think I'd become this girl? No, but here we are. So yeah, that's kind of like the main change in my life. Uh, I am now in final year. Now, if you've been around since the blog days when L Kendall Daily was a thing, you will know that my plan to go back to uni was never gonna be a thing, like ever. I was adamant I was never going to go back, I was like, education is not for me, yet here I am now in final year and I literally could not be happier, I adore my course so much, my tutors are literally like the best thing and it, I just never ever thought the day would come that I would be in my final year and this time next year I'm going to be a graduate, like it's honestly wild to me, so yeah, I'm really excited about that, I'm about two weeks in which is all rainbows and sunshines at the minute. Uh, yeah, no, to be fair, I am enjoying it. Um, I really like the modules that I'm doing at the minute. So we'll be able to see whether my attitude changes when dissertation arrives, but I'm super excited. I've managed to choose my dissertation question, which is super fun. Um, I don't know, yeah, I'm just enjoying it. I'm trying to really make the most of this year. Obviously with it being my final year, I wanna make sure that I get the best outcome as possible. I haven't actually looked at the questions, which I'm kind of excited, kind of nervous about. It does kind of give me a little bit of a flutter, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I don't know what the question's gonna be like. Hopefully they're nice, hopefully they're not too invasive. I feel like this video is gonna be quite fast paced and very, Blech. Do you know what I mean? But it'll be fine. So if I get up a question first and then I can talk whilst doing my foundation. So 
Oh, I'm so nervous. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm so nervous. Uh, right. Oh no, I can't answer that one. I can't. <laughs> oh no. Okay, right, so the first <laughs> the first one I've already answered, quite a lot of these are about my boyfriend. So the first one is, do you have a boyfriend by any chance? Yes, I do. And I've become that cringy girl that posts all of those videos and all these pictures and oh, I just, I literally cannot get enough. And it's wild to me because I've literally never been like this before ever. I literally cannot get enough. He's just so amazing and I, yeah. It's just great. I know I've become one of those really annoying girls on Instagram. Am I sorry about it? 100% no. So the next one is, would you rather half win back to back league? Oh, would you rather have half win back to back leagues or Norwich win the Premier League? <laughs> now, this is a funny one because I've literally just had a rant to my flatmate about how shocking Norwich are at the minute. It's actually ridiculous. Um, as for Holf, Holf is my university team, so I don't know, I feel like I could kind of get out of this one because, so I can sort of cheat with this question, so Holf actually won the league last year, so they technically got promoted and because of Covid, um, there's no promotion or relegation this year, so if I say for Norwich to win the Premier League... I've kind of got the best both of us because we've already won our leagues anyway, so does that count as an answer or no? Okay, so, oh god, <laughs> you had a JLS hoodie and I'm guessing it was red. No, it wasn't, basically I had a JLS hoodie when I was younger because I feel like everyone and their dog had one when they won the X Factor and they came out with all of the like merch and whatnot. I had a green one, so me and my sister had JLS hoodies. I wanted the blue one because I fancied Aston Merigold so much more than she did. But she was like, no, I want the blue one. So I was like, oh, fine, I'll have the green one. So I had Marvin's jumper. But yeah, I did have a JLS hoodie, but it was green and it wasn't red, unfortunately. Right, so I'm just gonna conceal now. And I've just read the next question. These questions are gonna get me in trouble. Like, I, oh my god, some of these questions I literally cannot answer, like it's actually really bad. The, there's just so many to choose from. The question, the question is, drop your biggest tea moment from uni. Now, hmm. Uh, I, oh, I'm trying to think of one that's like not going to get me in trouble at the minute. Um, oh no, there's just so many. You know what, I'm gonna, actually going to ring Ellie, who's next door, to see if I can... Right, so, one of my one of my questions is what's my biggest tea moment from uni? There's a, there's a few that, I th that I'm thinking of, but I just think, like, can I actually say them? The whole, um, the situation. There was so much to it. <laughs> That's a video of it. Now. Literally. Um, there are plenty of university stories that I could talk about regarding like different friendship groups, sit like just like funny stories. So the best way that I could answer this, considering I'm still at uni, <laughs> is if you want me to do a university like experience video kind of series, then let me know and I will do that. But for the time being, I literally, I actually can't, I can't. Let's just say, university makes you cross paths with a lot of different types of people. And I've had my fair share of different people, put it that way. So, that is how I'm going to answer it. And the next assumption is I'm pregnant. <laughs> no, I'm not pregnant. Uh, if I look pregnant, no, that's just quarantine weight. So, thanks. <laughs> The next one is you're getting married soon. Do you see the, there's a theme with these questions? Uh, no, I'm not getting married soon. Um, the answer is just no. That's <laughs> just not going to happen. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm not getting married. Uh, I'm not going to answer the next one because the next one is actually from a boyfriend and <laughs> I'm not doing that. So yeah, just no, I've acknowledged. No, I'm not going to say it. But yes, thank you very much.
<gasps> oh, tell us about the drunken mukbang that was never ever posted. <gasps> oh my God. Right, so this is literally one of my favorite stories from Elle and I, like it literally makes me crease. It's so funny. So basically what had happened is Ellie and myself went out on a night out. It was on a Saturday and it was literally so dead. Like town was just like non-existent. And I'm trying to think, we've, we must have gone home quite early actually. I think we must have gone home about like one, just because there was literally no one out. It was so boring. It was full of like college kids. So I feel like it was around the time of like a half term, but it was literally so boring. So we were like, you know what? Shall we just get really, really drunk and then go back to mine? Cause we were living separately at the time. Um, shall we? go back and film a mukbang so we basically we were in like one of the bars in town we got so drunk and then decided to go back to mine so we'd bought um a mcdonald's and i got my camera up and we were just sat on my bed and it was the funniest thing we've ever done obviously there were certain names in this video that we could not talk about i posted it on Ellie's birthday every single year because it's literally just one of my favourite memories but we were discussing things that were happening currently at that time I don't really know how to explain it we were basically I don't know how to explain it there was just conversations that happened between two best friends that just shouldn't is not safe for the internet but I did say in my um collaboration I say collaboration I Ellen and I done a get ready with me in the house that we'd done the mukbang in and I said if I hit 100k then I'd post it so <laughs> who knows maybe that'll be my 100k video who knows it will, it will probably be so pointless to people that didn't go to my uni or pointless to like anyone that isn't like Ellen and I but it is literally just one of my funny it's literally my favorite video I need to learn how to multitask I'm ne I've nearly finished my face though. This is probably going to end up being an everyday look. Are we mad about it? No. The next question is the biggest regret from uni. Uh, I don't like to have regrets like at all. There's <laughs> there are a few. Um, regarding certain members of my life. Or I say certain members. Um, certain people that have entered my life. That have swiftly made an exit um but no i don't i don't i don't like to regret anything i've it's a, it's it does frustrate me a little bit sometimes when i i should have graduated by now obviously if i stuck with the first course that i'd done i would have finished and i would have been a graduate and i probably i would have been in a job by now but i feel everything needed to happen in order to get to where i am now it it does frustrate me but then I just think at the end of the day like it happened you weren't happy doing the first course which if I graduated with that probably wouldn't have been a very good grade because I literally just didn't really care for it and there was no passion behind it whereas like the course I'm doing now I literally live and breathe it like it's literally my like I literally love it so much so I don't really hold any regrets there's certain people i feel i shouldn't have let into my life and i did but again it's all a learning curve and i'm just glad to say that i'm a final year now i know it doesn't seem like a big thing to a lot of people but when you failed miserably and i mean miserably at school to be able to say that i could you know potentially graduate a degree with like a decent grade, like that's like a big thing for me. You live and learn, I now know not to do it again. You've had arguments in a club. Uh, short answer is yes. I feel like everyone at any point in their lives once they've had a little bit of alcohol tends to have arguments with people. It is what it is, you know, people tend to get a lot more confident when they've had a drink and like to have deep chats and things like that. So it is what it is just happens doesn't it you've had a crazy uh, <laughs> i'm getting stitched up so badly <laughs> um you've had a crazy flatmate story time i've got a few i'm not gonna lie 
I literally, I cannot post this video. The answer is yes. I'm just gonna say yes. That's all I'm gonna say. I literally only have three questions left and I haven't even done my eyes. So what I think I might do, <laughs> I might do my eyes off camera and then I'll answer the, a few of the questions after. Eyelashes on. I haven't seen makeup in the longest time. Um, let me just check my questions, see if I've missed any. That's all my questions. Uh, I'm just gonna put something on my lips. So I've really been enjoying just wearing lip liner and lip gloss. So I love this one. This one's like, this one's like a really nice like peachy nude. And then I use my little pink gloss, which I literally love so much. <gasps> You're joking. Is that a joke? Ouch. Oh, my battery's literally now about to die. So this is the finished look. I know obviously I didn't talk too much about the products, but I hope you had a little bit of an insight into getting to know me a little bit more. Um, the questions certainly didn't hold back and is certainly a loophole of loads of other different video ideas. So if there's anything that you want me to go into more detail about in any of the questions, then let me know. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much. Um, I don't understand how you managed to listen to my voice for this long, but yeah, if you want to see more of me, like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!